Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Thought I'd show tonight how to draw a five-sided, six-sided petal flower with the polygon tool. So I'm going to just do it on a five-sided. I'm going to hold down the control button and make a perfect polygon. Then I'm going to grab the shape tool and I'm going to grab one of these. And here's your preference. You can either hold down the control button so it's kind of even or not because it's a flower. It's mother nature. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to go ahead and make this one a little bit perfect. Then take your shape tool and add a node by double clicking on the line. Try to grab all these nodes and, or at least those two and right click and turn them into a curve. You can also do it up here. Then you can take that node and do whatever you want to with it. Double click there and make another node and select those two and turn them into a curve. That way you're just gonna get a, well, I had the other node selected. What I do like about drawing with this tool, uh, you can get your petals really, you can actually go past them, you know, in a way. And then uh, when you, you could smart fill this and you would have some uh, different shape petals and, you know, like that, because it's not going to get in there, but we're not going to do that. We're going to take this back to kind of where it was. I'm not doing a real good job. But it's Mother Nature. They don't have to be perfect. So there's a there's a flower. Now you can do multiple things with it. You can hit, uh, put a center in it. And you can make that bigger. I'm going to hold down the shift key to make it a little bit bigger. You could add color. Uh, we're going to add, make it like a, maybe a red flower this time. And we're going to make individual pieces. Now each piece is a little bit different. So and it'd be kind of hard to rotate this. But with the interactive fill tool and if you're going to make a group of flowers like i just did if we're going to take the interactive fill tool and we're going to make and see i have that one selected i don't like that you know we're we're still in polygon mode mode so i can still change well i should be able to change let's put another node right there because we're still in polygon mode. Well, even then we're not when we smart filled it. Let's back up here. I don't like that flat edge. Get rid of our, uh, I didn't notice it. Now we're in polygon mode. You can see a polygon right there. Let's double click and make a, just make it a little bit rounder and right click and turn that into a curve and I'm not doing a real good job. And then you could like delete a note or something. That looks pretty good. Now get the Smart Fill tool and go ahead and fill this in with this red. And using the uh, interactive fill tool, we're going to go from red. For some reason, that isn't really doing anything. Let's tell you what, let's make sure we grab it. Sometimes you need to start with that. There we go. And let's make it a, like a really dark red on the center. And make the other end our normal bright red. Now, and you can play with your slider. That's not really what the video is about. Now, the attribute eyedropper isn't going to work because we're, we're going that direction. But you can still copy it if you go to I, I mean but it'll be different but it's a flower in the in the dark and the petals are going to be at the bottom but it might give you a good look now we need to just take our square our our ellipse and just make it whatever color we want we could hold down the control button and add a little blue to it make it a little darker but that's how you could draw a flower with the polygon tool and then just playing around, control G to group it and control D to duplicate it. And then put that one to the back of the page and you could have uh, multiple flowers uh, coming out of a, a, you know, flower pot or whatever. Anyway, hope that helped just a little bit. 
and thank you for watching.